heard of the Epic Times, you probably know it as a pro-Trump media outlet. It's gotten attention by dabbling in far-right conspiracy theories and paying for ads that promote President Trump. Mine came unsolicited bulk mail from a California address, but people are getting a version of this in Canada, even Australia too. And that's because the Epic Times isn't about American politics so much as it's about China's politics. We'll explain that. But first, let's verify what this paper says, that the coronavirus is part of a Chinese government cover-up with potentially sinister origins. The claims this paper makes to support that are a mixed bag. You will find grains of truth. For instance, on this timeline, you'll find the story of Dr. Li Wenliang, who got in trouble with Chinese authorities for sounding the alarm about the virus. The government apologized posthumously. Lee died of the disease in February. And that's all true. But the paper also has articles like this one, promoting the idea that a drop in cell phone subscriptions means millions more Chinese people than reported could have died of the virus. That's pure speculation. With a population in the billions, it's normal for the number of Chinese cell phone subscriptions to fluctuate this much. They dropped 20 million that month, went up 10 million the next. Likewise, the insinuation that the virus may have come from a Chinese lab is unfounded and generally ruled out by virus researchers around the world who have a consensus view that the virus spread from animals to humans. But this paper gets wilder, with an editorial encouraging people who get sick with the virus to cure themselves by sincerely renouncing the Chinese Communist Party. The Epic Times has this advice if you get COVID-19. Just sincerely say down with the CCP. Maybe a miracle will happen. That's make-believe. There's simply no evidence that saying or feeling bad things about the government of China can help you recover from the virus. That claim makes a lot more sense, though, when you realize this newspaper sprung out of Falun Gong, a Chinese spiritual practice that involves body movements and meditation. China's government banned Falun Gong in the 1990s. We've seen abuses of their people in public, and credible sources believe China's government did a lot worse to them in secret. Falun Gong decided to fight Chinese propaganda with its own. You know that dance show, Shen Yun? 5,000 years of culture with Shen Yun. That's Falun Gong. If you go, you'll see dancing, but also skits about the evils of the Chinese government. That's how Falun Gong reaches people who go to the theater. And the Epic Times? This is how the movement reaches American conservatives. Here to verify, I'm Brandon Ritterman.